Good morning, everybody, and this is your Dow Jones Day Trade Setups for today. So, uh, still continuing our little pullback. We have come back to structure, and uh, the structure, as I pointed out yesterday, at 36,182. And then you're going to have other little bits of structure. And uh, my advice is quite simple at least put three levels in, look to the left. See if there is anything. I don't think there is anything to the left. Nope. Um, there's a weekly level all the way down here. But this has been a strong weekly uh, chart. If you look at it, so it's one, two, three, four, five weeks in a row. We do have a weekly gap down here. So um, this could be a one bar pullback in a bull trend. And uh, if you look at it on the weekly, from a weekly perspective. But those are the levels that we are chasing. If we get down to the three hour, you will see this level, there's a lot of structure here. And inside here, there's another micro level there. So this is the area, this is the zone you're looking for. I'm just gonna put this one in as well. Um, upward trend, clear upward trend. Look at the three hour oscillators starting to group to the downside. Um, starting to look very interesting for me. Ideally, I'd like to see this kind of setup on the three hour, because the minute you see that, and look how much time you've got. You know, there's quite a few three hour bars here. And uh, you're in a bull trend, you're looking to buy when you see such a like that. And at least you can buy and hold for a bit. So that's kind of a uh, little bit of a view that we have at the moment. Let's get rid of that noise. So uh, could be a double bottom forming on the hour. You can see yesterday we did get an uh, inside bar, then an inside bar, then an engulfing bar. So um, that very much looks like a bullish setup uh, after hours we're drifting a little bit lower at the moment but I suspect we're going to coming back to test these areas there are a few little gaps in this zone as well so um, pay attention to 36,182 and also 36,144 I would be a buyer in these areas uh, obviously stop area is going to be below the swing low right here and that is 36,066 uh, any move past that, so we don't get structure in this area, then I'd be waiting for 3600. And I'd be waiting for this level here. Okay, so you know if we come into the zone and we start mucking around and we're still drifting low and there's no real setup, so no engulfing bars, no um, inside bars and no pin bars off any of these two levels, then sit on hands further and wait for 3600 to be tested. 3600 will more than likely bring some buyers back in, again, being a nice big round number. So that's kind of the, the view I've got at the moment. So we've been sitting patiently for the, most of the week, and now we're looking for a, an opportunity and we're looking for structure. We're coming up to structure, which is looking pretty interesting. So yeah, if I do see something, I'll drop it on the, the Telegram channel, but at the moment, uh, pay attention to the zone because if we start bouncing here, a great opportunity to buy and you've got a nice uh, tight stop and uh, it should give you an opportunity to get a, a fairly decent trade, um, at least to come and test the previous highs here. That's kind of the zone I'd be aiming for. 30, 36,487 or 36,500 area was uh, what I'd be aiming for. Okay, anyway, that's it for me. Hope it helps and uh, we'll catch up with you tomorrow morning. Cheers for now.